Jack, so this is Mission Control, Houston. Please call the station for a voice check. Please call the station for a voice check. Station, this is Jack Sapiero. How do you hear me? I read you loud and clear. Yoko Kikoimas. I can hear you well. Everyone in Tokyo, I can hear you well. How do you hear me? I can hear you well. How do you hear me? I can hear you well. Thank you for waiting. We've got connected with Furukawa-san on the International Space Station. I'd like to call him. Furukawa-san. Hello, everyone. I'm Satoshi Furukawa, JAXA astronaut. I'm speaking to you from the International Space Station. Thank you, Dr. Furukawa. So, Furukawa-san is currently speaking to us from the ISS Kibo module. We are now showing this footage on the Zoom. We've got many smiles and hearts popping up on the screen. How are you doing these days on the ISS? Your work and your life on the ISS. I have been living in the microgravity for many days. And I'm doing a research to improve the life on the Earth and also conducting technological uh, demonstrations for future uh, human exploration. I'm also doing a research on the protein crystals and also conducting technological demonstration of water recovery systems. So considering future human exploration, you have been conducting many experiments. The participants attended the uh, series of lectures before this. So we would like to check whether the participants understood today's webinar well. So Furukawa-san will ask questions and also explain the reason. And we also accept the questions for Furukawa-san live. So if participants have any questions for him, please uh, let us know. Before starting the quizzes, many people are participating in this uh, event. And please <laughs> Give us a like reaction if you're excited today and if you're determined to answer all the questions correctly. Yes, we've got many reactions. So, Furukawa-san, would you please uh, ask us the uh, first question? 
月極域の水資源の探査を目的とした JAXA で進行するプロジェクトはどれでしょう A、Which of the following is an ongoing JAXA project aimed at exploring water resources in the、uh, lunar polar regions? A. Slim. B. Lupec. C. MMX. Okay, everyone, please vote on the Zoom in 10 seconds. What is the、uh, ongoing JAXA project aimed at exploring water resources in the lunar polar regions? SLIM, LUPEX, MMX. So let's see the, how the answers are coming in. A, SLIM got the、uh, most answers. And the next is the LUPEX and followed by MMX. So, Furukawa san, what is the、uh, correct answer? And tell us why it is so. The answer is B. The LUPEX is lunar polar exploration mission. Water is precious in space, and on Kibo, we are working on water recycling using a water recovery system. Water is not only for drinking, but by extracting hydrogen from water, we can use it as a fuel, and it can be valuable resources for future explorations. The LUPES project. Aims at investigating the volume and quality of water on the moon. Thank you. So the answer is B. LUPEX, Lunar Polar Exploration Mission. Sorry for those who chose A. So the first question was about the international space exploration. So, this is a kind of a technical demonstration that you didn't conduct in your previous expedition. Yes, that's right. The、uh, recycling system to convert urine into drinking water was conducted in the 2011 expedition compared to the previous expedition. We are working more on how to make use of this、uh, International Space Station for future human exploration. Thank you very much for uh, let it,、um, telling us the answer. Now, the second question is about robotics. Have you worked with、uh, Interpol too? How is it making progress? Yes, I checked the movement of Interpol. The other day.、Uh, on the、uh, International Space Station, wind is always blowing for ventilation, so it's very difficult to keep it still without being swayed,、uh, swept away by the wind. But when it moved to our commands and came to rest, we all, all of us cheered. Yes,、uh, so robots are already supporting the crew. Now, Furukawa san, give us the second question. はい、第2問、ロボティクスにおける技術的障壁のうち、宇宙での導入で、What are technological challenges for introducing robotic technologies, especially beyond the low Earth orbit? B、人が使うことを前提に、A、Dealing with communication delays caused by long distance? B、Dealing with complex interfaces due to human oriented environment design? C、Dealing with dynamic environments where Ambient conditions such as the position of the objects and light change. Okay, everyone, please vote in 10 seconds. The second question is about robotics. C got the most answers. Dealing with the dynamic environments where ambient conditions,、um, the position of objects and light change, the C got the most answers, followed by A. And B got this number of、uh, answers. Furukawa san, please tell us the correct answer. Uh, this might 
be a very tough question for Interpol to, uh, in, generally speaking, the um, answer is A, dealing with communication delays caused by long distance. The ISS uh, is flying uh, 400 kilometers above the, uh, the Earth, and the communication is via stationary satellites, so the round trip is 150,000 kilometers, meaning that there is a delay of seconds. Uh, in case of Mars, Mars is 20 minutes away at the light speed, so a round trip takes 40 minutes. So, therefore, we need to improve remote control technology, automation, and autonomous technology. Okay, so the answer, correct answer is A, dealing with communication delays caused by long distance. This must have been a very tough question. So, those who answered A, congratulations. Okay, let's go to the next question. Next question is about improving fire safety in space. Furukawa san, are there any fire safety precautions you take in space? Yes, in the Gaibu Station, the fire the outside is vacuum, so if a fire breaks out, we cannot go escape to the outside. So maybe you have heard in this uh, today's seminar, all the equipment is designed to prevent fires on the ISS. But just in case, each module is equipped with a fire ex extinguisher. So I was also trained on how to use fire extinguisher. Okay, so give us a question. Question number three. As you may know, when you burn a candle on the earth, the hottest part of the flame is not inside the flame, but where the flame is in contact with the outside air. Then, what is the hottest part of the flame when burning a solid material in a microgravity environment? B. A, near the boundary between the flame and the surrounding air. B, inside the flame. C, the temperature is the same everywhere. So please give your answer in 10 seconds. What is the hottest part of the flame when burning a solid material in a microgravity environment? Near the boundary, inside the flame, or the, the temperature is the same everywhere? Now 10 seconds have passed. The most largest number of answers followed by uh, B. So what is the correct answer, Furukawa-san? The answer is A, near the boundary between the flame and the surrounding air. When vapor from fuel burns with oxygen, the flame surface is formed at a point where complete combustion of the fuel occurs. This does not depend on the presence or absence of gravity, so the hottest part of the flame will be the outer side of the flame in space as well as on the Earth. Thank you, Furukawa san. So the correct answer is A. So the last question. The last question is about the communication between the Earth and the uh, International Space Station. Question number four. Which of the following frequency bands will be used mainly for ISS emergency voice communication? A. S band, B, K U band, C, K A band. So, what is the frequency band used for 
Emergency voice communications between the ISS and the Earth. Ten seconds have passed. B got the most answers, followed by A and C. The answers were split among the three choices. So, Furukawa san, what is the correct answer? はい、難しかったかもしれませんが、正解は A、S バンドです。電波というのは、This must have been a tough question. The answer is A、S バンド。Radio waves are more susceptible to attenuation at higher frequencies. KU and KA bands are attenuated by rain and clouds in the atmosphere of the Earth. So, in case of emergency communications, we mainly use the lower A frequency S band to establish more reliable communication. Thank you. So the answer was A S band. So four questions were asked. Would you please、uh, give us a reaction if you answered all the questions correctly? Many, but、um, we also see uh, some uh, sad faces coming up, popping up on the screen. So now we'd like to move on to a Q&A session. First, we take up questions we received in advance. Compared to your previous expedition, what has changed or not changed on the ISS? Yes. えー、と変わった部分は、えー、と内部の電子機器を中心にあと実験装置とかが優れたものに変わっているエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニックデバイスエレクトロニ Equipment, so we can enjoy more、uh, faster communications, and we can conduct the state-of-the-art experiments. And the, some additional parts were made by private companies. So I can feel that the、uh, preparation is underway for、um, commercial flights. So the main body. And the teamwork between the crew and the mission control on the ground, such communication and teamwork remains unchanged. The style of work remains unchanged. unchanged. And the、uh, work procedure、uh, has changed from、uh, paper to iPad. What is the、uh, difference between the muscle you use on the Earth and also in, on the、uh, International Space Station? It seems like、uh, to stabilize your body posture, only with your feet must require a lot of、uh, muscle strength. Thank you for your question. The muscle, the way we, I use muscle、uh, is different from the Earth. On the Earth, we use our foot to sustain the posture, but on the Earth, but we, I have to fix my body. Uh, when I move on, on the ISS, I have to use the, my body in a different way, but I easily lose my muscle strength、um, in space, so I have to train myself to maintain my muscle strength so that I can keep my muscle strength as I'm living on the earth. And would you please give a message to those who are participating in this event in about 20 seconds? Okay. Uh, please continue to ask questions and use your head. When you think about anything, Dr. Furukawa, so I wish you, we wish you good luck. Thank you for, thank you everyone for taking part in this event.
station is used in ACR that right. concludes the event. Thank you to all the participants from JAXA. For the ISS, we'll now be resuming operational space to ground.